All right, Coach, uh, getting ready to head to a pair of meets this weekend at Vanderbilt and Clemson. What are you looking for as you kind of wrap up the regular season, start looking more towards conference play? Um, good question. Um, what we're looking for is for uh, the student athletes in our programs, both on the men and the women's side, to better their scoring position in the conference and work on uh, getting a qualifying mark that will advance them on to the national championship meet. Um, you know, that's, that's always the main focus is trying to get people to the national championship meet. It's one of the hardest things to do in track and field is to qualify for the indoor national championship meet. We have a couple of student athletes right now that that's either in a qualifying position today or really, really close. Uh, so this weekend is going to be focused on um, getting a performance that will be really competitive in the conference championship meet and that will score in the conference championship meet and also um, putting down a performance that will uh, qualify and get you safely into the to the indoor championship. I mean, only 16 people per event and 12 relays go. And, I mean, we're looking at over 300-plus Division One schools that, that compete in the indoor uh, championship. So to, to qualify for that meet – is uh, extremely difficult, um, but we feel that we have several athletes on our program in our program right now that that can go on and be successful in that in in that chase uh, to qualify for the national championship. How confident are you that a, a mark that scores at SECs is also one that will most likely qualify you for nationals? Uh, for some events, it's almost a given. Um, you know, like we we are, in my opinion. Um, the most um, decorated and competitive track and field conference in the country. That's my opinion. Um, so if you can go into our conference meet and be in the top five in almost any event, um, it, it's feasible to say that that individual will go on and, and qualify for a national championship uh, berth for the indoor meet. And so um, that that's – a really big focus for us as we go into the conference championship meet. Not only is it about scoring and trying to get as many points as you can for your team, but it's also scoring um, the most amount of points that you can to finish as high as you can um, to kind of guarantee your sp spot into the national championship meet. You talked about a few of those people who are kind of right on the bubble right now. You've mm -hmm. got a pair in the 800 and Dejan and Charlotte. Sure. Um, what do you need from them this week? Mm -hmm. What do you expect from them this week yeah. based on training? Uh, based on their training, based on how they've been racing uh, the last couple of times that they competed, um, we just need better ex execution. Um, you know, they need to execute their race a little bit better. As a coach, I need to prepare them for the execution a little bit better. If they hit it the way that I know they can and the way that their training indicates that they can, I think they have a really good shot of – uh, doing some really special things, uh, climbing up in the record books and for our program, uh, putting themselves in a really good scoring position at the conference meet and also qualifying for the national championship meet. Um, so, it, you know, what we're looking for this weekend is just race execution and, and uh, keeping composure and, and just having a really strong, solid race from the sound of the gun all the way through the end of the finish line. Last time out. Shayla Broughton put a new mark in the record book mm -hmm. in the in the pentathlon. Those multis are also a group that are kind of on the bubble sure. for nationals. Mm -hmm. um, can you talk about them a little bit and, and what you've seen from them this year? What I've seen from that group, uh, you know, top to bottom, I mean, Shayla, Asia, Allie, all three of those girls, I've seen a tremendous amount of growth from them um, this year um, competitively. Uh, they work really well together. I think Steve Thomas is doing an excellent job of preparing them uh, for each competition that they, uh, they've been at up to this point. Um, I think Shayla and Asia, I think are right now, they're, they're right on the bubble of qualifying for nationals. So it's going to be up to them. I mean, we, we, they're, they're, they're going to be put in a really good position over the next couple of weeks um, with our conference meet being one of the most highly competitive track and field competitions in the world. Uh, so they're going to be in a really good position. It's just going to be up to them uh, to take advantage of those uh, positions that they're going to be in to um, implement the same thing that they do in training in the competition. If they do that, they execute right. Uh, they're going to be in a really good spot to not only score and be top five, top three, top, you know, um, maybe even winning it. 
um, at the conference meet, but they're also going to be in a really good position to qualify as individuals to the national championship meet. And then last thing, uh, earlier this week, several schools across the country kind of highlighted athletes in multiple sports that are having a chance to reach the Olympics this summer. Mm -hmm. um, your program has a few on that list that mm -hmm. it looks like they've got a good shot or they've already been once before. Sure. Uh, what does this program do to kind of help that elite athlete take the next step? Um, above anything, I think it shows that when you come to Mississippi State, you are putting yourself in a position that if you take advantage of the resources that we have here, um, if you take advantage of the knowledge of the coaches that we have here, that you can put yourself in a position to go on and reach the pinnacle of our sport. And, uh, you know, we've had people that's come from our program that's gone on to do that. Marta was an Olympian back in 2016. Brandon McBride was an Olympian back in 2016. We've had several other Olympians uh, in that, that games and games prior to. We have, I think, six individuals that's either currently or recently represented our program who have a shot at going on to the Olympic Games in, in Tokyo. So it shows that this is a program that can get you in a position where you're going where you're going to be successful on the next level and, and reach the pinnacle of our sport. I mean, the Olympics is what we train for. The Olympics is um, the track and field Super Bowl, right? And it only comes every four years. And this is a program where you can come and be successful enough to where you can go on and, and, and be a part of our Super Bowl. You know, we only get once every four years to where our sport is the pinnacle of everything that's going on in the athletics world. You know, the Olympics is really surrounded by track and field. And, um, you know, so it's going to be really exciting for us to have somebody or have the potential of every facet of every sport, which is running, jumping, and throwing. Every sport has running, jumping, and throwing in it. And we have an opportunity to have several people representing us in the Olympics and running, um, a couple of people representing us in throwing, and a couple of people representing representing us in the in the jumping portion of it as well. So, for our program, it, it's great. You know, we're going to be cheering those individuals along. There's a couple that's still here in Starkville um, training as they prepare for the Olympics. So it's really good for our athletes that's in our program right now to be able to look over and see, like, man, um, Marco has an opportunity and and. I know where Marco came from. I know where Anderson came from. I know if I work hard and I take advantage of the resources and I take advantage of the coaching knowledge that I can can do those same things. So it's an exciting time for us, and, and it's an exciting time for, for our, our world, the track and field world, uh, as we move forward and prepare for the 2020 Olympics. So I encourage everybody to um, encourage folks along the way and, and, and keep an eye on those individuals, not only those that have come through our program, with uh, Olympic hopes, but those that are currently in our program right now that, that have Olympic hopes for 2020 as well.